Hello again, friends in YouTube land. It is Asenva here to do another Doggy Spot review. It's the Dal Gloomy Bear. And if any of you guys know the Gloomy franchise, it's like this adorable bear that has like bloody claws and it's like scary looking and it's got, you know, I don't know. It's just like, it's, <laughs> it's just funny. It's the Naughty Grizzly is basically what he is. So I thought it was super cute because they actually, um, they have a doll doll that's dressed up like Gloomy, Gloomy Bear. And it is actually one of the dolls that's available um, at the Chunky Spot. So as mentioned before, Dal is actually the little sister of our Tai Yank, which is the love interest to Pull Up. So um, this is like the younger generation of the dolls, the skipper, if you will, you know, of the bunch. And um, she's, she's considerably smaller than um, an actual Pull Up. If you put a Pull Up side by side, this is how tall um, the pull-up comes next to uh, the dowel. So you can see there is a big difference with size. Um, she is considerably smaller than, than our dowel over here. And these two are siblings in the uh, pull-up world. It's Dal, who is the younger sister of Tai Ying. And um, Dal actually has another uh, best friend also that's, um, I believe, also in her same size range. and. She has a younger brother that's also in that same, in uh, her same size range also, so it's all super duper one big awesome cool happy family. So some of the kind of basic things that um, she comes with, um, all the pull-ups come with a stand of some sort and she really needs her stand because it's hard to, you know, position her any other way without this stand holding her up since like the costume's so like huge and mangas and stuff so um but yeah the costume does come off i mean she's not stuck with it and um it's going to be an adventure we're going to see uh what the body looks like underneath so that way you get um a good look of of what she looks like completely take off our head piece thing here and it's like a really cute like <laughs> very like plushy looking bear hat that she has on um you can see her hair better now She's like, why did you take my my hat off? Like most of the pull-ups that are they're customized already, they, they come looking like a character. A lot of the other stuff that they have, such as um, their hair or like their eyes, it, it it's kind of as is. You really can't change it. Um, like the wig, for example, is it's like glued onto the head, so it's not something you can really take off. You can, you know, look up tutorials and things like that to see what people do to take it off if you do want to happen, like change a wig out and, and put something else on top, but um, other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty much as is because these are these are designed to look like a specific character. Yeah, so I mean, this is, this is the little suit that she was in, um, all of it's velcroed together, so there's our little gloomy bear gloomy bear outfit that we have over here. And this is our doll body. As you notice, everything is covered in plastic. And I, I'm assuming the reason why behind the pleather pants and the pleather top is so that way you can slip on the gloomy bear outfit. So if you notice, I mean, just being able to look at this part alone, the bodies are very similar to those of um, the Obitsu doll bodies where they've got like a peg system going on and um, so so there's certain parts that can pop out um, and you can pop them back in. It's nothing like too like terribly scary but if something does happen to um, pop off like boop, like that um, you can easily just put it back on. So there we go there's a little hand and boop Pop that hand back in there. There you go. So this is actually an Obitsu body next to a Dao body. And you can see there's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, as far as like the jointing is concerned, they kind of look similar and kind of look like they move in the same places. Uh, which leads me to kind of give you the kind of heads up thing. Um, some people do actually do modifications for the dowels as well. Um, just like they do for the pull-ups and tyings. Um, it's it's a whole modification process. If you want to see more about it, you can definitely Google it um, and see what comes up. Uh, but it does take a lot of different things, um, such as removing pieces from the head and whatnot, and filing down other pieces. So this um, top part where the neck 
pieces will fit into the head that they have here. You'll also notice that between the two, this is actually a normal skinned Obitsu. And if you're going to do any type of modification to switch the body, I would suggest to get a white skinned Obitsu body. Um, this one right here is a white skinned Obitsu body and as you can see, um, I think the coloration matches more with the, with the white skin than it does the, uh, the normal skin. The normal skin has more of a peachy color to it. So that's some options for you, but let's go ahead and I'm going to show you um, what the body that it comes with, kind of func how it functions and how it works. So let's go ahead and start off at that head, the huge, huge head. Um, as far as range of mobility goes for our head, these dolls really don't look up or down, nor do they look from side to side. It's kind of just only you can go to the left or go to the right. The face up and everything that's it's on them are really, really cute, nicely done. Um, they come with eyelashes on and everything else is just, it's a wonderful, like, clean face up for this one in particular, but I know that there's other ones that have really dramatic looking uh, face ups that are really nice too. If you look underneath, mm -hmm. the dolls also have uh, this nice little knobby thingy just like the uh, pull-ups do and if you are to Put that switch from left to right her eyes can look from left to right Which is one of like the big key features for pull-up dolls is that you know, they have moving eye parts um, So basically just to do that. I'm just switching it from left to right and it's moving her eyes from left to right moving on um, she's got what looks to be like a three-part torso system um, and as far as mobility goes she moves slightly to the left and to the right this center piece is for pivoting so her whole body turns to the side or turns to this side here this part up here really doesn't pivot it's it's more it's coming from this joint right here that she's moving from left to right. If we move along to the arms, arms are pretty standard uh, and very similar to that of Obitsu dolls. Uh, we have, I'm um, gonna show you right here, we have the um, hinge joint here that kind of just goes weep, 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 and it also rotates up and down. Um, like I mentioned before, this is one of the areas that can pop off. Whoop. And um, you'll notice one of the characteristics of these dolls for um, the pegs that they have they have like these ridges and my my belief is it's just for um, traction purposes and whatnot and then also it ensures that it stays in there. So a hinge joint going up and down there can go from side. She can swing her arms, um, extend them outwards. Looking further at our arm here, it has one, two, three, four pieces. This piece right here and, and this line right here is where her arm will, will pivot from side to side um, so if you if you bring it up or down it's it's twisting right here um, this is our elbow right here so it just kind of goes to a 90 degree bending point and that's pretty much it that's what it looks like up close if you look at our hand here um, we really don't do like a waving side to side really um, but it does twist from side to side like this and it can go down and it can go up. Going down to our um, hips, the hips are really interesting. There's a piece inside and I don't I don't know how to show it to you other than kind of just opening her legs kind of like this. It's got like a hinge also here as well. So it's not something that necessarily pops out. Um, it just kind of moves from like, oh, it opens and closes. It, it really doesn't do anything else. Her, her legs really aren't meant to go past into like a split type position. I wouldn't take it beyond this mainly because they have like a slight bump or a ridge here and that's to kind of like let them sit. But then when you push it back, I mean, it doesn't, it's not really meant to go past that point because there's nothing here that, you know, enables it to go past that point. Mainly since we've got ABS right here, just, it's just casted this way. It's, it's not meant to go back. So yeah, so we can sit like this. It can go to a 90 degree angle. And um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's the motion we got. Our knees are another really interesting part to look at. They, they can twist themselves like from side to side if you hold this part of the leg and twist it. Once again, this is another area though that can pop out. So just you know, be careful with that. And just a normal hinge. 
And that piece will go back into here. Knees can bend, you know, to sit down. Uh, going down to the feet, uh, this is a part that will not pop off because of the way it's, it's built. It just goes up and down and that's pretty much it. It doesn't go from side to side at all. It just boop, up and down. That's all we do. Now, without the stand, because these dolls have such huge heads and it weighs a lot, it's really hard for them to do any kind of solo positioning without without the stand. So if they're trying to like, like she's, like I'm trying to have her sit on the table right here, she kind of falls back on her head. You can try to prop her arms behind her like this and then she can kind of sit and balance it out. But other than that, I mean, she really does depend on the stand. And, and like I've been saying for pretty much all the, the reviews for, for these kinds of dolls, is that I really feel that they're meant for, for display purposes. I mean, they're really, really characterized. They come with a lot of really neat stuff, and it kind of makes them unique uh, because they come with such, you know, I mean, really awesome, like detailed things like this. So, I, I just feel that I mean, something this really like intricately put together and really cute, I think, is meant for display. Mm -hmm. And that's that's pretty much it for the body. I hope this really helped clear out some questions if you were wondering about doll bodies because. It's really hard to see because a lot of the stuff that you see online is just like them in costume and stuff, so it's really hard to see what the bodies are like. If you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to leave me a message down below. And as always, if you want to check out these awesome dolls and if you want to know where you can buy your own gloomy bear, please go ahead and stop on by to the Junkie Spot. That is www.junkiespot.com. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye!